Hey YouTube, I'm back with a running portion of my uh, brand new computer, uh, my Acer Aspire 5600U all-in-one computer. Um, I've done an unboxing video and I'll put the link to that in the description uh, in case you haven't seen it. But this is the running portion. This is, this is, it's all set up and it's updated and uh, some things I've found out about it since unboxing uh, when it was all new and in pieces. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get on with the first part here, which is the stuff I found out. Okay, the in the unboxing video, I had this little plastic cover and this metal plate. Okay. Um, when I did the unboxing, I didn't know quite clearly what they were for, but I found out since they are for a wall mount unit. Now you have to buy your wall mount separately. They don't include one, uh, but the fact that you can wall mount this is bonus. Um, if you want, you know, in your situation to, to put it up on a wall, uh, make it a nice, clean, futuristic kind of deal, uh, then you can do that. But I'm selecting, just setting it on a desktop. Uh, that's fine for where I've got it. Um, but as you can see from the, the diagram here, the metal piece, where are we here? The metal piece replaces around the back here to show you. See this is the arm, the metal arm that comes down and sits on the desk. Uh, there is a cover here that you take off and it has a spring on the arm. Now on setting this up, uh, this arm did not want to come out and, and be able to prop it up. So it was like, okay, how does this work? And the instructions aren't really clear, but we figured it out that in order to get the arm to swing out so it can prop, be propped up, you have to um, undo, loosen this nut at the end, just slightly, but uh, loosen it off and pull the arm out to where you want it and then you re-tighten this nut so that it won't spring back. Um, I don't know whether every one of them has to do this, but we had to do it for this one, so I'm just letting you know. Um, and then you simply pop the cover back on. Okay, put the flashlight down, that works. Okay, and then you put the, the cover back on here so it looks all put together. Obviously I need to do that with another hand. Uh, anyway, for this wall hanging unit thing, it, it's put in to support the weight of the, the uh, main piece and the flat cover thing covers where that spring was because you have to obviously take off the arm and that cover. So. That's kind of cool, and I'll definitely keep that handy should I require to hang it up in the future. But uh, other than that, okay, what else I found out is this paper, this big paper that I had in the unboxing. <laughs> I've done some reading with it. Um, it outlines where all the ports are on the back underneath um, and it's got quite the capabilities for it. Um, it it's got a lot of U USB ports it's got three on the back and one on the side so that's four total so you really don't need a hub <laughs> which is a bonus. Um, it stands really nicely and the native resolution that that 
it's set up with is beautiful as far as I'm concerned anyway I'm sure you can adjust it bigger or smaller although I don't see why you'd need it bigger um, okay I'm gonna walk you through things as they sit there we go all right now there we go now uh, this computer is super fast launch Explorer there it is quick like that uh, let's just let's just go to uh, hmm any old link boom <laughs> this thing is fast boom again I am really impressed with the speed of this although uh, an i5 chip uh, I shouldn't be uh, surprised it, it is a fast chip i7 is the only one bigger than that and <laughs> not in the budget right now but this is a, a super, super upgrade for me. It's the best machine I've ever owned. I'm really happy with it. And uh, I'm glad I went with the all-in-one desktop because like I said in the unboxing, I don't use a laptop for portability. So I might as well get a desktop. They tend to hang together better and there's no big uh, overheat issues. This um, computer has a built-in DVD, which is right here. Now, it is a tray load uh, DVD, which you have to be a little more aware and take care of because that can get damaged so easy. So it's always important to support it when you're putting a DVD on or off and close it up there you go okay um, I'm glad it's got it on board though uh, it saves hooking up an external one although I have one of those from owning a laptop and it tells me okay tap to choose what happens with the blank DVD so I'm going to ignore that for now because I really don't want to burn anything right now. Um, I'm really uh, impressed with the graphics on the screen. Uh, it's an HD, like 1080p HD screen. And so the clarity is really, really there. Um, the hairs on the cat, you can see them. It's not just kind of a picture. It You can actually almost reach out and touch it. Um, this computer has touch capabilities. So I can touch the screen or I can use my mouse. It's, uh, it's got a, it's called point gesture point grab sorry it's got a point grab feature which uses the webcam point grab hand gesture control settings okay cursor settings point grab and what it does is uses the webcam uh, so that you can gesture to the computer and have it do things like uh, zoom pictures or open applications or close them um, even so much as finding the, the uh, charms bar which is on the right hand side of the screen here uh, you can swipe the screen to get access to that or you can use the point grab and wave it over uh, I haven't quite mastered that though <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning um, but in the charms bar 
There's search, share, start, devices, settings. Settings, you can get access to control panel, personalization of the computer, uh, PC info. That's all the stats on it right there. Bang. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system. It's, uh, it's running Windows 8.1. Now I've upgraded it since it was it came packed with Windows 8 uh, but I've upgraded it to 8.1 so it's the newest OS um, you have you know the device manager it's all easy access this this system has it all I'm really happy with it um, the only thing I would say is the built-in speakers for playing uh, music or videos, uh, I find them a bit tinny. Obviously, there's, not a, there's no bass, really, um, but that's because I don't have uh, like a full-blown system surround sound kind of thing. Uh, but that's that's here nor there if I wanted to add external speakers I could uh, most definitely um, but for run-of-the-mill stuff the speakers are pretty good um, it supports obviously Internet Explorer and Chrome um, I have Skype on here uh, Windows Defender uh, for protection from spyware and uh, malware and adware um, the keyboard and the mouse are really responsive uh, very easy to connect uh, all I basically did was put the batteries in and uh, she's up and running <sighs> cat hair <laughs> um, the whole outfit works well together. I have the computer itself, the keyboard and the mouse are all um, the same theme. They have the clear uh, plexiglass kind of look on the bottom uh, with the black accents and they're all branded Acer like it's a complete set it looks really good I've gotten uh, compliments on it already from those who have seen it in real life in person and uh, I'm very very impressed with this uh, I learned since upgrading to 8.1 there is a trick uh, on 8 the normal start looks like that with all the apps uh, I chose to start it as desktop so how I did that I'll show you okay go back to there's my desktop now when you go to 8.1, you simply, anywhere on the taskbar down here, right click, you go to properties. Properties to navigation. And it says start screen. When I sign in or close all apps on a screen, go to the desktop instead of start. Show my desktop background on start. Click that. Click that. There you go. So what happens now that I've applied all that is when I shut this down and I go and sign in again it will automatically go to my desktop instead of that Metro start menu I know that's a lot of problem for a lot of people and I even I had issues with it uh, but I prefer this this format um, it is a super fast computer. I have tons of room. There's my uh, 
computer, my this, this PC, um, my computer, and there is lots of room. Here we go. Properties of the drive. I have used 52.5 gigabytes and there's still 862 gigs free. <laughs> I'll never fill that. Um, easy access to anything external would show up here as a drive. Like if I were to plug in a USB stick in the side port or one of the back ports, it would show up here. Uh, I've got easy access to all my major folders here. Downloads, videos, pictures, documents, desktop, music, lots of stuff. Um, system properties. Boom. Again, right there. Handy. Um, I just find the whole experience of this thing wonderful. It's uh, The screen is is big and bright and perfect and very fast getting anywhere in this thing. Um, there we go. Okay. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. It's just the um, the Trello DVD to be careful of, and the speakers, as I said, are a, they're they're not the basiest, but I can always add external speakers with a uh, boom box and get my sound that I that I want. Um, but other than that, they're great for, for regular computer sounds and, and, uh, websites and stuff. Um, it, it handles IE, there's IE, and it handles Chrome. There we go. And uh, basically, that's a look at how it performs and stuff. And uh, if you have any questions or, or comments, please leave them. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.